Hello everyone, my name is Gorka Mergen. Today I'm going to show some of the hybrid mobile development features that are available as part of the JBoss tools. I'm using JBoss Developer Studio 7.1 release today. Before we start with the development features, I'd like to show you the easiest way to get hybrid mobile tools into your development environment. When you start your JBoss tools, you will notice the JBoss Central, which is the view on the editor area here. If you switch to the Software Update tab, you will notice the JBoss Hybrid Mobile Tools plus Cordova SIM as one of the options to install. As you can see, I already have the tools installed so that we can proceed. We will start by creating a hybrid mobile project. Hybrid mobile projects provide the structure and tools for building a mobile application by using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. The new project wizard for creating a hybrid mobile project is located under the mobile category on the new project wizard. In order to create a hybrid mobile project, the wizard requires a few pieces of information. The first one is the Eclipse project name. Next, we need a name and an ID for the mobile application. The name is actually what is displayed to your users. Um, so a wizard actually makes some suggestions if you, when you're specifying it. For example, if, if your name is very long, then it will warn you that it's a long name for uh, presenting it on a, on a smaller screen device. And lastly, an application, which is a Java package name style app, um, ID. Once you create your, your, your project, uh, you will see a project stru structure created for you. So let's have a look at the different parts of this structure. WWW folder is your main development directory. You should have all HTML, CSS, and Java files and other resources used by your application in this directory. Any files that are outside of this directory will not be available to your application at runtime. The default template creates a number of directories and files for you, but you can freely rearrange them. This folder also contains the config XML. Config XML is how you can customize the features of your application. Hybrid Mobile Tools provides a config XML editor for easier editing of this um, file. Every now and then, your applications may want to use resources or files that are specific to a platform. For those cases, you can use the merges directory. If you create an iOS or Android directory, let's create an iOS one for instance, under the merges and platform and put the platform specific resources in those directories these files will be added or replace the contents of the www directory when your application is created last but not least there is the plugins directory which holds the files for the installed cordova plugins we will look at the details when of, of this directory when we explore the Cordova plugin discovery wizard. Once you created your project, you can test your application right away on the platform emulators that are available on your environment. In this release, Hybrid Mobile Tools allows you to run your application on the iOS simulator and Android emulator or device. So let's quickly run it on the iOS simulator right now. As you can expect, um, the console output from the iOS simulator is conveniently available on the Eclipse console. Launching in the console works very similarly for Android devices and simulators as well. During your daily development, you may need to use a more agile simulation environment compared to platform emulators. 
in such cases, you can start your application on, on the Cordova simulator. Cordova Sim is our mobile browser simulation environment that utilizes Apache Ripple to simulate device events. It comes with a management console, uh, which enables you to emulate different kinds of, of device events. For example, you can emulate accelerometer events or location um, or device and network settings. And those will be all available on the, on the Cordova APIs. Another in unique feature of Cordova Simulator is that it supports live synchronization of changes uh, during development. In order to enable live reload, you need to do th two things. First, you need to go to your server's view and start the live reload server. And then you need to come back to your Cordova Simulator and enable live reload. From here. Now uh, let's try the live reload and see how it works. I'm going to just shrink my Eclipse a bit so that I, we can see the Cordova simulator here. Now I'm going to open up the index.html and say demo. As you can see, as I as, when I save my index.html, the, the, the changes are reflected on my Cordova simulator immediately. And this works similarly for CSS and JavaScript as well. For example, let's go into uh, the index CSS and change the color for the, the blinking device ready uh, to Fuchsia. All right. There we go. And it's reflected right when I saved the index.css file. Cordova allows developers to enhance its functionality using plugins. In fact, starting with Cordova 3.0, all the functionality that used to be a part of the Cordova um, are now provided by a series of plugins. Hybrid Mobile Tools helps with the discovery and installation of these plugins. If you right-click on the Plugins folder, you will notice an Install Cordova Plugin option. If you select this option, a Plugin Discovery Wizard will appear. Uh, as you can see, the Cordova Plugin Discovery Wizard allows you to install plugins through a Cordova Plugin Registry, a Git Repository, and a Directory. So today I'm going to use the registry to install the device plugin. And this is the device plugin that I'm looking for. As you can see, I can also have I also have the option to install older versions of the plugin if I choose to. So now my plugin is installed and you can see the plugin uh, listed under the plugins folder and if I switch to the properties view over here I can see some of the information about the about the plugin. So now let's get this plugin into use. I'm going to give this heading an ID and then Go into our index.js fi file and first let's grab the Now I'm going to use the device API 
to get the version of the Cordova that I'm running. Once I save it, as you can see, the, the Cordova simulator already picked it up over here, and it's also displaying the correct version on the Cordova simulator. Let's run this on the iOS emulator so that we know that uh, it is working for iOS as well. Let's switch to the simulator, and as you can see, the Cordova version is correctly displayed for iOS as well. Once you reach to a certain maturity with your application, you want to get your application ready for further distribution. Um, Hybrid Mobile Tools provides a couple of um, wizards, export wizards for um, for this purpose. Um, let's see them. Again, they are listed under the mobile category. Uh, export mobile application wizard exports your application as a binary that is ready to be signed and distributed uh, through App Store. Export native uh, platform project wizard exports a native platform project, for instance, an Xcode project, and then you can work on it with the native platform development tools such as Xcode. So let's have a look at the export native platform project. And one thing that you will notice, these two wizards are pretty much similar. So I'm going to use the native platform project wizard and select iOS as my uh, export target. And when I click Finish, it will export it to my export directory yeah, here. And underneath the iOS, I should see my Xcode project file. If I open it, Xcode will start. And if I run it on my true Xcode, I should just have the same application that I've been running with from Eclipse itself.